Aloha everyone, welcome. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about chronic kidney disease here in Hawaii. In America, there are approximately 41 million Americans with kidney disease. One in three Americans has kidney disease, but in Hawaii, the statistics are slightly closer. One in two here in Hawaii actually have kidney disease. And that's due to a lot of different factors that we're gonna touch on. Uh, in today's presentation. So let's meet our kidneys. First of all, where are your kidneys? Well, they're located in our lower back area below the rib cage. Uh, normally they, we are born with two kidneys, but you can definitely live on one kidney. Um, how big are your kidneys? Well, they're actually the size of your fist. And how many, again, how many does a person have? Usually, normally, we are born with two kidneys. Um, so uh, most of us have two kidneys, but again, we can live on just one. How do the kidneys work? Well, it's a very intricate uh, system, um, but let's simplify it. When the heart pumps out our blood, um, it goes down to our kidneys. It basically gets filtered out, which means the kidneys do a lot of work with cleaning out and separating waste products um, and separates the clean blood. Um, the waste products get sent down into our urinary tract system, into our bladder, and then the clean blood actually gets recirculated back up through our entire body and the cycle continues 24-7. What do our kidneys do besides cleaning our blood? They do lots of different things. They help to control our blood pressure. They help, again, to remove waste products. They help balance fluids, specifically potassium and sodium. They help to release hormones. They keep our bones healthy. They help to balance minerals in, a, in the body. And they help to regenerate our red blood cells. So what is chronic kidney disease? Well, chronic kidney disease falls into five different stages, um, starting at um, a number, uh, a GFR number. Uh, GFR stands for glomerular filtration rate. So a normal perfect kidney would be a GFR of 130 and it goes all the way down to zero. So everything in between are stages one through five. Um, and when we talk about uh, kidney disease and the rate at which your kidneys are filtering, we're really referring to your GFR number. You wanna be able to know that number. Usually you'll find it on a lab report so the next time you go and follow up with your doctor, check on what your GFR number is. Some of the causes of chronic kidney disease are a number of different things. We've highlighted a few um, that might be familiar to you folks. Um, glomerular fil uh, nephritis, which is an infection within the kidneys. Um, polycystic kidney disease is another one. Um, malformations, any type of obstructions such as kidney stones could cause kidney disease as well. Uh, lupus is another um, systemic disease that could cause kidney disease and frequent having frequent urinary infections, which is um, something that especially our seniors might be experiencing as we age and as we get older, um, we might have frequent urinary tract infections. So check that those out immediately and follow up with your provider. Some of the risk factors for chronic kidney disease are, again, autoimmune diseases such as lupus, uh, diabetes, which is actually the leading uh, risk factor of chronic kidney disease, heart disease, and obesity. Also, any type of acute kidney injury, meaning any direct injury to the kidney. Um, it could be from some sort of accident. It could be an infection directly um, associated with the kidney. So um, any type of uh, injury or short-term injury to the kidneys could also um, 
cause chronic kidney disease. Also a family history of chronic kidney disease. Know your medical history. It's really important. You may or may not have passed on um, uh, that gene uh, for chronic kidney disease, but it's good to know. Older age people, specifically 60 and older, um, you folks are higher at risk for chronic kidney disease. Ethnic background. Um, Native Hawaiians, Asians, and Pacific Islanders are amongst the highest at risk here in Hawaii. Okay, and in Hawaii, kidney failure is actually 30% higher than the national average. The highest at risk are, again, these ethnic backgrounds, Hawaiians, Japanese, and Filipino. Every day, someone in Hawaii is diagnosed with kidney failure. Some of the warning signs of kidney disease could be high blood pressure, so a blood pressure higher than 120 over 80, bloody or dark urine, which could look red or like a dark brown, more frequent or difficult or painful urination, puffiness around the eyes and the swelling of the hands and feet. When our kidneys aren't working very well, fluid collects in those areas and it's hard to get rid of excess fluid. Fatigue, extra tiredness, um, you know, trouble thinking clearly, uh, poor appetite, and also difficulty sleeping could be some signs and symptoms. Dry, itchy skin, or muscle cramping at night. Also, we talked, we mentioned this earlier, glomerular filtration rate or GFR. Anything lower than 60, you want to be concerned about. So the next time you follow up with your provider, you want to check with them to see what your GFR is. You should be able to find it on your latest lab report. In diagnosing chronic kidney disease, there are several uh, tests that involve uh, before a provider uh, actually diagnoses you with chronic kidney disease. First of all, a urine test. We've all peed in the cup. Um, you're gonna do that here as well. And um, they're gonna check for, again, the clarity of the uh, color uh, of the urine, um, checking to see if there's blood, is there an infection, um, but for CKD, they're really looking for if there is any protein in the blood. Also, um, any blood test um, that may be ordered by your physician to check your red blood cell count, your white blood cell count as well, your blood pressure is checked as well. They may even order an x-ray to actually look at your kidneys. And again, knowing that GFR number which again, tells us how well your kidneys are functioning. Some of the effects of chronic kidney disease are hypertension or high blood pressure, anemia, which is a low iron or red blood cell count, bone disease, so it, it would be associated with possibly lack of calcium, peripheral nerve damage, which, which is associated with having diabetes. Um, nerve damage meaning less sensitivity in your extremities, such as your hands and your feet. And again, kidney disease can affect anyone. It doesn't matter how old you are. Um, although you're put higher at risk um, if you're age 60 or older, nationally, one in seven people are at risk for CKD. In Hawaii, it's one in three. Now, for those of you who have a smartphone, I have mine right here, we have an, a free app that you can download uh, to actually find out and calculate what your GFR is. And so um, if you download, it's called eGFR app, and you download the app, it's free. And when you click on it, this screen will come up and you wanna press the top one. It says CKD Epi. 
Um, and then you, it'll take you to this screen right here. And you will need to know uh, some information though. So you may want to know your latest lab results because you will need to enter your creatinine number. Um, your creatinine is another chemical in our body that can help to determine whether or not you have CKD. Um, it actually is a waste product in our blood. And so you want to enter your creatinine number, which again, you can find on your lab report, your age, your gender and race, and you click that and a GFR number will pop up. So this is a really handy tool that you can share with your family and friends. Um, and I know, especially during this time, everybody's gotten tech savvy. So hopefully um, you can have access to um, a smartphone. Um, it works on iPhone as well as Android phones. Okay. How can you find out more about CKD? Well, you can find us at the National Kidney Foundation of Hawaii. Um, we're located on King Street, 1314 South King Street, um, in between Piikoi and Ke'eomoku. Um, that is our main office. Um, we're on the 15th floor, Suite 1555. And you can always access our website at www.kidneyhigh.org. And also something new that we've rolled out in the last months um, is virtual classes. So you can access our educational platform um, and check out our web calendar, which is on our website. Um, you can also email me at programs at kidneyhigh.org.